so I gotta get the ring light. Uh, the day I get a ring light is the day I you need to put me out my misery. I'm why, not. Why you don't like a ring light? Because I just I just associate it with with little girls and TikTok dances. No, have you seen a man with a ring light? Dexter has one. <laughs> he does. Well, well, yeah, no, it is his. He does. <laughs> and he's a man. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode <laughs> <laughs> of a ring light for me. <laughs> it's not the way. I was trying to move on. I know, I know. No, it's a big short pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> I, I forgot the name. Just I'm still tripping. Do you, so that's all you think about when you think of real lights. Because I know my daughter had one, her cousin had one, and I mean, whenever I see, yes, yes. Okay. I don't know any. I mean, all right. Okay. All right. I mean, outside of Dex, I don't know any either. But yeah. it was the first <laughs> one that came to my mind. I mean, you. It was. It was. It was. It was good. Because I. I don't. Like we we filmed with one. That's the reason why I was. That's why I was so fresh because we used it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how you been, Larry? All right, man. All right. As you can see, we have a, another location here. Um, it's a little dark. That's the third studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we like to switch it up so you don't know where we where we at. Even though you can probably tell we're in the skyline. <laughs> now what city? I'm not gonna tell you. Thinking of Annie, you know, the, the uh, uh, what's the name? Jamie Foxx, when they were going through the shop, and the city is yours, or something like that. It's probably not the I'm words. Not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to you, James. I don't remember that movie. I guess just, you know, I have a daughter, so. It's all good, man. I've seen it quite a few times. <laughs> I got a few questions I wanna ask you. All right, go for it. I'm gonna do it. You, you know, you, you, um, you play the game One Gotta Go, right? Yes. You, so you're familiar with the concept? Yes. There's a couple topics you got to pick one to get rid of. Yep. Right? Yep. I'm going to hit you with a few Marvel theme one got to go. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Go for it. Try to keep it open mind. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You had to I, know, I, I say that because I know, I already kind of know, you know, I know what you like and don't like for them because we talked about most of them. Right, right. But... I'm comparing them together. Okay. So you ready? Yep. So the first one is Iron Man. Okay. Captain America. Okay. The first one. Oh, you're talking movies. Okay, not just mm -hmm. characters. Okay. Mm hmm Thor. Okay. Or Hulk. Definitely Captain America. Why? That is like, there's like four movies that I say I would never watch again. And and Captain America: The First Avenger is one of them. It's it's boring, it's it's just like inconsequential. I mean, I guess it, it has consequences because obviously he gets the super soldier for serum, so it, it has it has it has a reason to be there. But it's just boring. That's later stuff adding value to it, though. Yeah, it's just it's boring, and I just I just don't want to watch it. I've only seen it one time, and I don't plan to ever watch it again. So okay, so cool question, side okay. question. If you had to pick a, a good moment from that movie, what would you pick? I don't really remember the movie, so I remember, you know, when he was small, he jumped on a grenade. I do, I did like that. Um, of course, I remember when he came out of the, 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 the I don't know, the machine. Mm -hmm. um, he had the badge kind of shield. I, I don't, I don't have a good. I don't like any of it. Just him jumping on a grenade. That was maybe that showed who he was, which was done effectively. Right. I would have picked the same one. Okay. <laughs> it was it was it was between that and the first Thor. Yeah, those are definitely the two, and and which is I mean I know you didn't say that you didn't like Hope, but I know you said you didn't like it as much as I did. I'm trying to think. I don't. I mean I don't have any real hard issues with Hope, but I mean it's it's enjoyable. Yeah. All right, next one. Okay. Spider Man one. Now we're talking Toby. In, okay. Is it is it Toby? Yeah. Yeah. Spider Man one. Mm -hmm. Black Panther, first one. Okay. Doctor Strange. Okay. Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel, definitely. <laughs> like you were doing so good. All of them were, were at heaters. All so nice. 
Why, 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 why'd you throw Captain Marvel in there? Because, <laughs> like, because it's like origins. And so, I mean. Listen, nobody likes, I'm not going to say that. I'm sure there are some people out there. Mm-hmm. But Captain Marvel, uh, it's, not a good, it's not a great movie. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it's not even a good movie. That's, that's the reason why I said, have it open by. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's just say Captain Marvel wasn't in there. So Tobey Maguire, the first Spider-Man, mm-hmm. Black Panther, Doctor Strange. So, so Spider-Man doesn't hold up well anymore. I mean, I still enjoy it. I still like the movie. So it's, the nostalgia is what's really holding it for me. Mm-hmm. Then again, Black Panther, I didn't like the end. But I love Doctor Strange. What do you like about the end of Black Panther? It was it just like the whole movie seemed to be very personal. It seemed like it was it was you know T'Challa and it was his ascension to to king to being a king. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, it was you know a whole bunch of CGI fight. And sure, he got to fight you know Killmonger, but that was also CGI. It just it was just it just it was different. You know what I've learned about you, James? Yes. When it comes to CGI, mm-hmm. you, 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 I'm not gonna say it, you're a hard critic of it, mm-hmm. but it really, it really, it really messes with you. It, it can really take you out, like if, so, let, I'll put it this way um, The Marvels, the new mm-hmm. movie, The Marvels, like if all, I'm not gonna say the whole movie, if you have a lot of CGI, mm-hmm. then yeah, I can understand it, it fits. And I'm not saying that I like the Marvels. I'm not saying the Marvels was bad. But overall, the movie was consistent. Okay. Black Panther, where there was sporadic CGI, you know, throughout the movie, and then for it to lean so heavily at the end, it just, you know, you go from grounded as opposed, you know, of course, he was like running on a building and he jumped, and that was not necessarily grounded. But and then you go to just this, this, this grandiose, it just, it, it, it felt different. Hmm. So is there a movie? Because this is because I've said this before. Mm-hmm. This is how I feel about CGI. Okay. For me, bad CGI is noticeable. Mm-hmm. But if I'm invested in the movie, I could care less. Yeah, and I'm not saying the CGI was bad. I didn't think the CGI was bad at all in Black Panther. Oh, well, okay. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't say bad. But like, if it's not done well, or if it's like very noticeable, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't. If I'm if I like the movie, I'm not really gonna. Like, even if it is bad, I'm still gonna be like, eh, it's okay. But like, I get what you're saying. Like, if if it started off not using a lot of CGI, Shang Chi, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. CGI was used here and there, but then yeah. you got to the dragon. Yeah, it's like okay. <laughs> like even though I was like, that's a lot of CGI, I still was like, all right. Like, it didn't it didn't pull me out. I guess I would say. Uh, so say, and I know this isn't what you're asking, but I think Shang Chi would have been. Um, fine if maybe they didn't include the dragon. And I can understand, you know, that that um, you have Chinese culture and you're, you're putting you're putting a little bit of of Chineseism. That's um, yeah, just just you're putting a little bit of culture into the movie. So Chinese-ism? I can understand, but it it just it again it was just a hard pivot, hard left. Yeah, we were going this way. They was like, yeah, but we need we need to put this in here somewhere, and, and like the the Ender, I don't remember what his name was, but the the, the whatever the the monster thing was that was controlling the father, um, mm-hmm. it, it went with the story because I mean that what was going on throughout the movie. Yeah, but how do you beat that? As and I'm sure they could have wrote it that the humans could have beat him. But you also weren't you also weren't seeing it when it was happening throughout the. It was like they were just talking about it. So yeah, yeah. I get it. All right, last one. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that one. Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. This one I'm going to do like, not necessarily franchises, but the all the all the movies combined. Okay. You think of this, yep. okay? Yep. So Guardians of the Galaxy, okay. all three. Yep. All the X-Men movies, oh. right? All the Avengers movies. Okay. All the Fantastic Four movies. Okay. One's got to go. One. One's got to go. All right. So X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy, definitely. Okay. X Men, Guardians of the Galaxy, Fantastic Four, and Avengers. So not Avengers. So you're keeping Avengers. Yeah, we're keeping Avengers. Okay. So I like the first two Fantastic Four movies. 
Um, you didn't like the third one? Michael B. Jordan? And his adopted sister? It was it was a movie. It was there. <laughs> um, X-Men, you know, I, I, sh- it's going to have to be x I don't know. It's between X-Men and Fantastic Four. Who would you pick? Um... I'm probably going to lean towards Fantastic Four. Okay. But, but for the simple reason of... Well, no, I can't say that either because Guardians of the Galaxy only has three movies. I'm going to say it's not as many movies and it's not as many Avengers, but the all of those... I like, I like the entirety of those better or more than I do the entirety of Fantastic Four. I, I'm going to have to say Fantastic Four as well because, you know, they're forgettable. Like, to be honest, the only thing I like about the movies were Jessica Alba. Mm. <laughs> you Actually, Chris like, Evans. You know, like, Michael, uh, you know, like the thing with the black chick? Chris Evans, you know, you know Human Torch was actually pretty fun, too. So that was, he was. Yeah. I actually kind of liked The Silver Surfer as well. I, yes, I did like The Silver Surfer. I thought he was in well, I, it took, I, I didn't know until later that he was voiced by Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I thought you were going to say Keanu Reeves. I think that's what people who people want to voice him. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, that's just, I actually kind of I actually kind of like the Michael B. Jordan one. Good. I mean, I'm just I'm not saying that you're wrong for that cuz I like it's not it's not I mean, I don't like it. Like I don't th- it's not bad. I'll say that. Oh, it's definitely at the bottom of the final four list. Yeah. But in the final four. That's four. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking basketball. <laughs> it's, it's at the bottom of them, like yeah. bottom, bottom. But I guess because, like, like Morbius, I didn't go in with a you know with a high yeah. expectation, so it's kind of like, oh, okay, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, would I watch it again? I ah, probably not. Yeah. yeah. Um. So the reason I went ahead and kept X Men, even though they have a lot of duds, they do have a lot of a lot of good movies. You know, they have Logan. They have the first two. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure, you know, again, first X Men doesn't hold up well, but I mean, they they've got some some good ones. Yeah, they the volume makes up for the lack of quality for mm-hmm. them. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Cause I I mean I like First Class, I like Logan, I I don't remember X Two, I don't remember there was a third one, right? Yeah, Last Stand, the one with the um. Yeah, no, I don't remember that one. <laughs> Is that the one with the bridge? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> I, so I mean, when it came out, I was I, I say I, you were same age. We were young, and I enjoyed it. Um, I think I just just wanted to see more superheroes, so I just I just took it for what it was. That's the one when she was in the they she was Phoenix and they met in the woods and. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming to me now. Yeah. Blowing off Wolverine's clothes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> well, sure. Um, all right, so I got one for you. All right. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do the worst of the worst. So Thor Dark World, Captain America First Avenger. Ooh. I was going to say Eternals. I don't know. Eternals, Captain Marvel. I'm getting rid of one? Yep. Eternals. Um, I'm keeping Captain America because mm-hmm. it's Captain America. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm keeping Captain Marvel because, you know, Nick Fury was from Huntsville. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's a good reason. Um, what was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, Thor Dark World. It's Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking with the originals. Like, I, Eternals, it's, it's too new and it has, like, what what else have they done? Well, if, don't, my only issue with Eternals, <laughs> Eternals, Eternals, it was just too many people. Did you answer yours? Uh, I just, okay. Uh, so Captain, Marvel, Captain Marvel, Dark World, Dark World, Eternals. Captain America, Eternals. Oh, I'm gonna go with the Eternals too. There's just too many people. So I, I know I made I put I made a list. Mm-hmm. Did I have Eternals at the bottom though? But they they had the they had the Marvel's first sex scene though. They had to show the work. <laughs> <laughs> they did have McCarvey too. They had, um, yep, yep. Sam Hayek? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of her name. She died, but they had her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they have any more? I know they had the Game of Thrones guy for, for, for Icarus. Um, they had, they had, um, 
What's the Indian dude? Yes. Oh, wow. Um, Come on, near Johnny. No, no. Yes. Yes. Him. And he was actually, I, he was fun. I actually enjoyed him in the movie. Like, he. I feel for him, though. Yeah. He did all that working out. He did not he'd take his shirt off one time. <laughs> he, he got we got buff just to keep his shirt on the whole time. But, I mean, I know it was for the movie, but, I mean, I'm sure he got other pl- pluses for it. Oh, of course. But I'm just saying, like, you're in a Marvel movie. You're working out. Yeah. Thor's shirt is off all the time. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Iron Man, his shirt is on all the time, but he's still just a regular bodied Iron Man. Even though he's, you know, he's putting on a suit. Which, you know, I'm trying to think about it. So, uh, it came out, I was going to say, during Disney. And it's always been, for the most part, it's been Disney, but it seems like it's been, after Phase 3, more kid and family friendly. Like, if you think about all the MCU movies, it just seems like things or not as risky. So Eternals was more family friendly. I know, I know, I know. Sex scene, James. <laughs> on a rock. In the, in, okay. in the desert or okay. like outside. Right. I'll take That's it back. family friendly? I'll take it back. I'll take it back. They had the little girl who had a crush on her older sister's boyfriend and then to the point to where she betrayed her because I can't be with him because I can't age. That's family friendly, James. Okay, I'll take it back. And I know, I know they, they put Daredevil and all this other stuff on. <laughs> I know, but it just seems like it, the man. movies are, are not as they have echo now, but this is this is uh, to me they're in another era. Like they, they move past that era. Yeah, I, I mean I get it. Yeah. Disney is Disney, man. <laughs> I had another question. Okay. It's kinda of a hard turn. I think you said three questions. Hmm? I don't know, I, but you might have had like three mm, eliminate ones. Excuse me, but I thought you said you had three questions to begin with. Oh, no, I just said I had a question. Okay. Um, or maybe I did say three. I don't remember. So long ago. <laughs> you, they could tell me. Um, All Star. NBA All Star. Yes. Yes. So, okay. I want to go through it. We ain't, we're not gonna, we ain't gonna take a lot of time because okay. we ain't got a lot of time. But. I don't mind. We can take all the time if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to go through it beat by beat. Okay. So, did, well, first off, did you watch everything or did you? I did not. Um, I was, my daughter had a dance performance, so I missed the skills, skills. I missed some of the three point. Okay. But I did watch the rest. So you watched the, um, the Rising Star games? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't pay okay. attention the first two days. I didn't watch it either. <laughs> the highlight I got from that was Wimby's team. Wimby Yama's team got beat by the G League. Yeah, which you know, G League Ignite. They 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 got these people that come to the NBA, but there's a whole video on YouTube. I don't remember who did it, but it mm. says everybody that's come for the Ignite has been garbage. Mm. But apparently they, you know, because you scoop. Um, uh, Scoot Maneri? Scoot Henderson? Yeah, Scoot Henderson. What'd you say at first? M- Scoot Maneri. What is a Scoot? Is that? Scoot McNary. I don't know what that is. I just made it up. Okay, <laughs> all right. It could be a real name somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> um, But, so I was just talking about, oh, no, I did see Saturday. I didn't see Friday. Because Saturday was a skills challenge and all mm-hmm. that other stuff. Okay. So I did not see the skills challenge, but, you know, everybody, every time, everybody on YouTube is always saying... All-Star Weekend sucks. But really what they say suck, like when you listen to it, really they're just talking about the All-Star Game. So I wish they would be more specific and say the All-Star Game sucks. And sure, they talk about the dunk contest, which I understand it's hard for people to come up with, you know, with new dunks. But I know there is, and you can still keep it entertaining because you have, you know, these other people out there, Jordan Kilgannon and all these people that that mm-hmm. have these innovative dunks that, that NBA players won't even try. No, I want you to finish your thought. Okay. But we're going to um, get there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we, You were making your way over there. Go but ahead. But I, I want you to finish your thought because I, I want you to get it out, what you were saying. But I was just, you know, I, I really, the three-point contest, the skills challenge, um, all that stuff is fun to me. I don't really care about the Rising Stars. I don't care about the Celebrity yeah, Game. Yeah, I don't really care about Rising Stars either. Yeah. Oh, and so, uh, but anyway, that, that, that's well, it. No, nah, I don't care. I'm not going to lie. I don't care. Yeah. Because like I said, I didn't watch it. And to be honest, I mean, it's not like it's it's a bad thing to have it. Like, even if you don't like it, 
whatever. Every sport has an all-star, you know, whatever. Just let them do their thing. You don't have to watch it. Also, I don't know if this is the first year they did this, but because usually from what, from my remember, from my mm -hmm. recollection, mm -hmm. the Rising Star game is like the rookies versus like the sophomores. Yeah. Um, this year it was like, it was different teams broken up. They, they've been always trying to change it because I know at some point they had like USA or America, something versus World. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I just they, remember that. They're always trying to change it up. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Skills Challenge is okay. next. Yep, yep, yep. So, you said you watched it. I did not, but I, I, I watched like the last two or three, and I like the new format that they have. <laughs> it sounds like you don't like it. No, no, I, I have no issue with the format. Okay. Did you see the highlights of the, the people? No. What happened? So, you didn't, so you didn't see... Um, so, like, people being confused on where to go. Which is weird, because, I mean, the whole court was glass. And I know that they, like, I did see a clip. I didn't see, mm -hmm. like, a whole bunch of highlights. But I saw, like, the court had, like, arrows going where to go. Mm -hmm. So I don't see what, what they got confused about. So my, my, only, my only rebuttal to that would be, like, I guess it's kind of hard to look at the floor at the same time you're, you're dribbling. I can because if you're trying to look it up, you're dribbling. Yeah. My only, but my rebuttal to that rebuttal is <laughs> once you saw the first person or the second person mess up, mm -hmm. like the next three, what's your reason yep. for messing up? I unless agree. like you weren't, unless maybe you were off doing something and it's like, oh, it has your time. All right, cool. But if you're standing on the court side and you watch everybody go the wrong way and the ref is like, hey, this way, <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then you get out there, wrong, oh, I went the wrong way? Like, you just saw the three, four other people do. <laughs> what were you watching? Not everybody has, <laughs> you know, a good brain. You know, <sighs> athletes aren't known to be the most. No, I'm the not, brightest. I can't. I can't agree with you on that. One, <laughs> no. What what athletes? Do, which you know, I do want to say, almost every single NBA player. Mm hmm Almost every single NBA, like when you when you hear them. Um, What's the word? Like like talking interview or whatever. They do sound like to be and I and I, hate, I don't want to make it sound like you know old black people are blah 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 blah. Right. But no, they definitely sound just about all of them sound very educated. Yeah. Well, in their defense too, when they don't sound educated, it's because of the fact that you're doing an interview after you just played thirty something forty minutes of running up and down a court. Like hey. I just played this whole game. I'm tired. What do you think about the game? This <laughs> <laughs> is <was> fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired, man. I just want to go sit down. Bro, I'm tired. So I get it. So what do you? <clears throat> what 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 information do you have that I don't have about athletes not being intelligent? Well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you're wrong in the sense of that's a stereotype. I'm just saying I can't agree that, that all of them are yeah. that way. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I agree. Like, stereotypes are in itself are, are yeah. I don't want to say, yeah, I'm just going to say they're dumb because obviously you can't just group everybody in one. Right. Yeah. That's all I was saying. I can't just, because you was like, athlete. I was like, I can't, because, uh, no. you know, <laughs> but they are some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I will admit, so Angel Reese, I don't, have you, do you know Angel Reese? Mm-mm. -mm. Um, so she's a college basketball player, um, LSU, and she she transferred from from Maryland to LSU. I don't know why, but they um, won a championship. She was like going against Caitlin Clark. Blah 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. I know her. So, so this year, um, she was bitched, and I know we're getting off topic from what we were talking. The All Star game. She was bitched, and then like the coach just had her sitting out. And mm -hmm. nobody knew why, because, you know, obviously they're not going to put their business out there. And then one of her teammates had said, her mom said something online. Um, no, 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 no. Angel's mom had said something. And about, anyway, she said something. Oh, I got it now. All right. <laughs> she said, you know, all y'all you, making these posts and, and not using punctuation. How am I supposed to understand, you know, what you're trying to say? And then, you know, the person, the, the teammate's mom said that you you know your daughter's in college and she's like she don't have the best grades and all this other stuff. So they were it was just going crazy. So I'm not trying to, you know, what's the word? I'm not trying to defend the argument that obviously all athletes aren't very intelligent because I don't think all right. athletes but I just that just happened to cross my mind. In your defense though, I will say this. I know not all stereotypes are, are real, but 
if I'm a if I'm a very skilled athlete and I'm in school and, and school cares about us winning mm -hmm. and there's a test I don't do so well on, <laughs> they're like, well, we need you to play. And, Here come, take this A. And you, listen, you're going to take that A. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> But if you, you take you do that so many times. Once you get to a certain point, it's kind of like I didn't really remember anything. And to be like, if I'm if 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 I am going to make money, if this is going to be what I'm doing, then what I don't want to say what do I need an education for, but I don't I don't I don't know. But here's here's the crazy part though, James. This happens to athletes who don't end up making money with it. Because it, it even happens in the high school level. You got high high school athletes where they just get you know. They, Teachers just pass them along because yep. they want to, you know, especially in the South because, you know, football is, is king down here. Yep. yep. <laughs> if you're an all-star quarterback on a high, especially a small town school and, you know, hey, here's an A on this chemistry test that you didn't really take. And what's so crazy is that, you know, you, you'll have a person who gets to the pros. Um, mixtape was crazy. They were playing, you know, 40 points a game, something like this. They were the man in high school, college. Yeah. And then they get to the NBA and they, they can barely score five points a game and then they're out like in two or three years. Well, you know why, right? Why? Because like, okay, if you're the man in high school, you're scoring 40, you're averaging 40. When you get to college, let alone the pros, there's, there's 12 of y'all. Yes. There's 12 of you on yep. the same team. <laughs> you, you, there's 12 people that are averaging 40 at their schools. Yep. Now all played on the same team. Yep. You, you're now, you're not the big dog anymore. And not only that, some of it, you know, you'll hear stories all the time that, you know, coaches or whatever don't like people's attitudes. So everybody comes in thinking they're the man. Mm -hmm. They should be the star of the show. Mm -hmm. And, and they, get, they get knocked down real quick. Yeah, because if you think about it, if I'm, if, I'm the, if, I'm the, if I'm the star player in a high school team mm -hmm. or a college team, mm -hmm. well, maybe not college, depending upon what college you go to, but more so high school, more than likely, you're playing with a bunch of bums. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not bums, but like, yeah. they're not as good as you. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. of course, you're going to shine yep. because you got Joe, you know, Joe Dumars over here. Okay. Who's, who, he can, you know, all he can do is just hit a layup every now and then, but he can't <laughs> dribble. And meanwhile, you jumping from the free throw line. Okay, right. Come on. <laughs> and then you get to the, to the pros. Everybody doing that. Yep. It's like, ah. So I'm not the only one? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Yeah. But no, okay. So skills challenge. <sighs> you said you like the new format. Yep. I think the first one I saw, what the first new format was the Antetokounmpo's. And um, I was driven for him, because you know, I was, Giannis was first getting like his, his big break. I was like, all right, let's do this. It's two brothers. And it did That's not. his problem. He had his brother on the team. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, you know, Thanasis, actually, I think he got he got traded. I, I'm pretty sure they prep they should have waived him. I don't know if they did, but I know at least what, what is Co I think Kosas is maybe in a G League. I heard Charles Barkley say something and I agree with him. What's that? As long as as long as Giannis is in the league, yep. your brother's gonna have a job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean who this is that's the least we can do for him. Cause I mean, have you have you seen him play for real? Yes. yes. I I mean, to to go back to a previous conversation we had with um, what's the white dude name? Brian Scalabrine. Yeah. I was thinking he's about probably it. still better than. Yep. But. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. <laughs> um. They 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 gotta have somebody at the end of the bench. I mean, they gotta play him, but you know. Oh yeah. The Nassus has been getting some playing time. But but to your but to your point of like with the skills challenge, like it's even though they got a new format, I'm still not it still doesn't it still yeah. doesn't draw me. Like yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. Um so after that it's three point contest. Well this year they had a three point and then they had the competition. Yes. So we'll, we'll talk about the three point first. Yep. How do you feel about that? So I always enjoy watching a three-point contest. I did not get to see everybody, and I did not watch after the first round. Um, but I did see that there was either three or four-way tie of 26 points. Mm -hmm. And then they had to do the tiebreaker. So I had to cut it off during the tiebreaker. But is there anybody that you thought wanted to, was going to win? Well, honestly, James, I didn't watch it. I <laughs> 
<laughs> do you do you I just know who won. That's all I know. Okay. Do you care? Do you do you do you ever no. watch the I used to. Okay. Like back when Steph was, you know, competing. Not because that's because it was because he was he was a draw to me, but that's just who was who competing when the last time I watched. Yeah. Nah, I don't I don't really. The big I was gonna I was gonna ask you about the big controversy with Cat. How you felt about that? What happened with him? So, I don't know where he ended. I just know there was a controversy where, like, they felt like some of his threes didn't count because his foot was on the line. Yeah, I did. I did see or hear about that. Uh, I was gonna shoot. Thank it. All right. So we were talking about three, whatever. We can just go to the the next thing. What's your final thoughts on the three point? Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to put it all together. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, so we were talking. So someone on Instagram, because they were talking about actually, it is going segue into the next part. Um, that they were saying that you know they should have Caitlin Clark whenever she comes into the NBA or the WNBA, mm. and she should go against stuff. And then there was like nobody's gonna beat stuff. I was like, Clay beat stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but he's also well, that's a whole different conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, you know, Steph, I, I'm not going to say nobody can beat Steph. I, Steph isn't perfect. Sure. No, no, by, by far, no. Yeah. But he is one of the best, though. Yeah. Or um, the best, depending upon who you talk to. I think it was, you know, a win-win situation. Even if he did lose to Sabrina, it wasn't necessarily that he wasn't as good as her. It was just more like, I don't think anybody would have thought of him as letting her win, but it was good for the the WNBA for the exposure. And I'm not trying to minimize anything, you know, but I feel like he may have thought that there was no downside to him accepting the challenge. Well, from what I heard, he he actually offered the challenge. So from what I heard, after Sabrina had made the... The 31. She, yeah, that she, she went on Twitter or whatever and she said, you know, hey, let's, let's, she's, she's the one that did it. Uh, I just know they said he called her like 20 minutes after that and was just like, hey, let's do it. Oh, I thought it was more like to congratulate her. I just remember him saying something about they had a conversation 20 minutes after she did it. Okay. And, it, and within that conversation, a challenge was created. Okay. It could and be. I mean, but sure, I don't know the specifics. I don't know. I don't know the truth. I wasn't there. This is true as well. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say this, though. Um... Because I said I didn't watch the three-point competition or challenge, mm -hmm. I was more invested in the three-point com competition between Steph and oh, what's her name? Sabrina. Sabrina. You're not, you're not... Yeah, I was. Uh, I was more interested in that than I was the rest of them. I, I don't. I don't know if it's because it was an NBA player versus a WNBA, even though she was shooting with WNBA balls. Mm -hmm. But she was shooting at a at NBA three point range. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know what it was. That I just was more invested in that than I was Cat versus Dame and all of them. Like it was, I think I think it, I it's know. it's good, and I don't necessarily think that you know. I know it's supposed to be the NBA All Star Game, so the fact that you had a G League, even though I mean it is technically called the NBA G League, so NBA is a, an affiliate. It is an affiliate of the NBA, and I guess the WNBA is, but that's that's like that's that's I, I forget which I'm not gonna say, but anyway, um, I do like and and you know I mean obviously if the fans feel like the All Star Weekend needs to have more, then I mean you should do it. Um, I think what should happen is you know Steph shouldn't be like the poster boy for it, unless you do want to have like him defend the belt or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I would think that whoever won because the, the WNBA just from what I see now. Uh, ends before the NBA All Star Game, so whatever WNBA player wins the three point contest <laughs> should go against whoever won last year's, mm -hmm. unless that person defend, de decides. So like Dame, Dame won last year, but he wants to defend this year. So if that's the case, then he shouldn't defend and play against the you know. Mm -hmm. So if he decided last this year that he didn't want to defend, then he should. But then you know if he does, so it's yeah. not it's not perfect. No, no, I, I, was, I was listening. But I was laughing because I was, I was remembering some of the comments they made during the, the competition, talking about how, like, you know, that we can have like a competition between NBA and WBA. 
like maybe during their All Star weekend or was <laughs> All Star whatever it is like, but there's be like during the week on Wednesdays and stuff like. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> But no, I mean that would actually be perfect. And I know that's yeah. like 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 kind of making a a, a way for to <clears throat> integrate the two different leagues. But if you did have NBA players join their mm-hmm. like maybe they would have more viewership. And I know they're they're proud and they don't want to sully the 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 integrity of the sport. But I mean, if they're coming into art, why not have like maybe? Would that be fair though? Oh no, no, I, I I think it's fair. My issue is my bigger the bigger issue I have is this. Mm-hmm. What does it say about the WNBA, the fact that the biggest draw for the next All Star is a player that's coming out of college <laughs> who hadn't even gotten to the WNBA yet? That does. I mean, it says it says that college women's college is is it's it's crazy. I can I can name some WNBA players, but but that's what I'm saying. Like I, I I'm, I'm sure you can. Yeah. But nobody's like, oh, we should get these players from the, that are already in the WNBA. They said, no, we want this one that's coming out of college. Yeah. So when she gets in, we want her to compete against Steph. Like the average person, would they be able if they were to name a, 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 a woman basketball player? Is Caitlin Clark the first person they're gonna name, Mm-mm. or Aja Wilson? Aja AJ. Or Flojo, not Flojo's in college. They probably, right? They probably say Brittany Griner. <sighs> okay, so, but that's just because of everything around her, not because of. I mean, she's a good player. I was gonna say she never had that that match with Demarcus Cousins, but they should listen. They need to listen to the darn uh, storylines, stories. Oh yeah. Demarcus Cousins versus Brittany Griner. Put that in the the. In, the doing but what, I mean, though? Demarcus Cousins is in the, in the NBA, so we can't. That well, doesn't. Well, what were they gonna be doing? A one on one, and I know. Oh, like, like an actual game. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. cool. And, and but Mac McClellan isn't in the NBA either, so I guess like I don't know. It's so it's so it's so crazy right now. I don't know. I just feel like because cause this is how I see it, mm-hmm. and this is the reason why it's an issue for me, because it's kind of like to me it's kind of similar to the whole situation of like you have All Star Weekend coming up, right? Mm-hmm. And people are talking about oh, when LeBron James gets into the league, we want him to go to the dunk competition, right? But you got all these. Uh, but you saying like there's there's already great dunkers in the league. True. Why well, skip over them? Just be like, who want him to dunk? That's what they're doing with Caitlin. It's like yes. we got all these great WNBA players who can shoot. Yep. Nah, we want her to compete against Steph. Even yeah. though they call her the female Steph, yeah. I get it. Yeah. It's gonna sell, but I'm pretty sure you got other players that can shoot threes just as well. How how are you? How what are you doing wrong? That people aren't talking about your product that you already have, but they're talking about yeah. That's the that's the, that's essentially what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> How do you just just make make people care about them? It's not as easy as it sounds, but um, I don't really know. In all honesty, I don't. For the record, I have nothing against the WNBA. Mm-hmm. Like I respect them highly because I'm pretty sure I could get crossed up by any one of them just as well as I would. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, Kyrie Irving. I get it. They ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of them are better than some of the NBA players. I just don't know what they can do to make the, they make it more interesting to the fans. I don't, I don't know. Because you hear everybody complain about it, but then we asked, like, I saw a video. And it's like, I think it was like, uh, they were asking people on the street questions. They were like, about the WNBA. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, man, you know, like... It was like, well, how do you feel about it? Oh, you know, yeah, it's good, man. I like it. You know, the women. women. Can you name three players? No. <laughs> how do you how you gonna root for it? And, but you can't even. You don't even follow it. I'm trying to think. Like, what's the what's the crux of the problem? Like, is it because you know you're so used to watching NBA that you you is it is it is it like the actual gameplay? I, I know that's like a video game term, but yeah. I will say that I, I think it's very awkward when they do layups. Like it just looks like it's like they're they're trying to do a lucky circus shot. That 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 really makes it look weird to me. But otherwise, it it it's not bad. Because um, because female college basketball is great. However, you gotta you gotta give it the caveat of just like college football, mm-hmm. like in, in in NCAA like. College players are going to play harder anyways because they're trying to get to mm-hmm. that upper yep. level. But people enjoy it. Mm-hmm. They will have a great time watching it. Yep. It's like once they get to the WNBA, it's like, 
Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and I'm trying to. So they they have twelve teams, and some of the time, I mean, you have New York, you have L.A., so it's not like they don't have any good cities to represent. I don't know, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. At one time we played, we yep. played with each other. WBA teams. <laughs> they were all fast. Layups. Yeah, they were. They were all fast. Layups. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh, I got an overnight tonight. I did. I did get two K twenty four. It was twenty dollars. I didn't know it was out yet. Yeah. Oh no, no I'm thinking twenty five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I say I got twenty four. As a matter of fact, uh, you do. Mm hmm. Oh. Um, I saw a, a not a banner, but an Instagram post of college football, which mm-hmm. it's not NCAA, which is what I know that you play. Oh, yeah. I saw a trailer for it on Instagram. So, like, is it, is it, it's not going to be what you're familiar with, but it's still college. Mm-hmm. Because I know NC anyway, was NCAA made by EA Sports or was that? Yeah. EA Sports is in the game. Mm-hmm. Oh. So maybe it is going to be. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm I, excited. I started to sit. Oh, I'm excited. I saw the trailer. Like I said, I saw because you know, for years we've been hearing about it was coming out, it was coming mm-hmm. out, and then mm-hmm. like they put out the trailer. It was like, I heard we hear y'all. Yep. And we're coming, and they showed like the little, the, you know, the graphics that they're working on, the jerseys. I was like, mm, I'm ready, James. They say it's made by the people that made Madden. Does that make it? Does it? Does that yeah, worry you? Not really, because okay. I like Madden. So okay. Because essentially. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm ready, though, man. I'm ready. <laughs> but anyways. Or dunk it, contest. <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You did, Were you about to go to that, or were you about to go to something else? No, because, like, I've said my piece about Sabrina and Steph. Like, I mean, I feel like it was a good competition. I enjoyed it. I had a great time watching. Like I said, I was more invested in that than the actual co- the three point you know three point competition so but in general uh, it was okay for a second i didn't you know it didn't look like Steph was going to win but he did have his money rack at the end and oh yeah 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 i think i think the reason why i'm not that drawn to the three point competition is because it's like especially now the way the game is played you see so many threes in a game it's just kind of like, okay yeah, <laughs> it's not that interesting because because I back when I used to watch it like faithfully, it wasn't like three. It wasn't really a wealth of three point shooters like that. You had people who could shoot threes, mm-hmm. and then you know you would see them in a the competition, but you don't know like. But if I see Steph is competing, like okay, oh I know he's gonna do well. Yep. But then you like you watch it back then. It's like oh maybe Baron Davis. Oh the kid, this, I know he can shoot him in the game. But like how right. is he gonna do? It? You know right. what I mean? Like now it's just like everybody shoots three. You got Cat. He's not even you know what I'm saying like according <laughs> to him he's the greatest three point shooting big man. All right, dunk competition. <laughs> I got it. I'm not gonna touch that. So listen, that's the one that'd be like, hey Jaime Hawkins. Like do, do he dunk? Like is he? Is I don't even know who he is, James. <laughs> <laughs> Never even heard of him until the dunk competition. He's he's a he's a, 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 a he's doing very good for a rookie. He played for the Heat, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Because I remember he had the jersey at L. L. Heat. Yeah. Whatever. Like sometimes when I see the the the, the Spanish version Los Suns, I'm like that. <laughs> that don't sound right. Hey man, I don't know. Before okay, this is okay. This is something I got to get off my chest. Okay. Before before, because I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you talk about it first. Okay. You watched all of it, right? Yeah. But this is something I got to get off my chest. And this is just in, about dunking in general. Okay, because I was going to say we might be saying the same thing, but go ahead. This is about dunking in general. I'm going to use Wimby, 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 as an example. I don't like tall people dunking. Agreed. Because <laughs> they, they, they can't really do much. It's not that, it's not that they can't do much. Because I, I feel like they can be creative. I just... It's easy, and it's kind of like, and I'm talking. I'm not even talking about any like competition. I'm talking about just in regular games. You're like, oh man, he, he's seven three. I mean, you should be able to dunk. <laughs> like, oh, he dunked up. Of course you should. <laughs> if you if you can stand flat footed and touch the rim, right? <laughs> if your arms like stretch up to be three feet taller than somebody else, right. how are you not dunking? 
they just make it make it seem like it was just it's such a great accomplishment when they dunk over somebody or they do like some kind of like or when when Wimby did the whole like I think it was in the middle of the game where he I don't know if he threw it off the backboard or he did some kind of a fancy thing and then like dunked. Yeah, I'm just like to me that's a layup for him. And that's how I feel. You know, here I am. You can come at hate or whatever you want to do. Blake Griffin, Blake Griffin jumping over a kid. Oh. He jumped First, over the I'm hood. About, I'm about to say, he didn't jump over a kid. Exactly. He jumped over a hood, which is something that he can do because he's a basketball player. He jumped over a kid that put on the brakes before it got to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped right before he jumped. It's like, uh. But since you brought that up, before you go quick, because you, you, it's easy to say, easy okay. segue. Yep, yep. Cassinet. Yep. Who was like, what, <laughs> five, five, three, five, four? Yep. You put him in a chair. Yep. And then you jump over here? Listen, I love I love Jalen Brown. I do. But he should not have made it to the finals. I in all honesty, I feel like I feel if I'm being completely honest with you, I feel like Jalen Brown only got in the dunk competition because he, he felt like his name would kind of add some cachet to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because every, like if you look at it like every everybody else in the dunk competition, like you got Obi Toppin's brother, but everybody was like, hmm, you, Jacob, who? You know what I mean? I didn't even know he was in the... When I saw that, I was like, oh, Obi Toppin has a brother in the NBA? Yeah. And only, the only other person that people know is Matt McClung, and that's because he won last year. Yep. So I feel like Jalen Brown was like, ain't nobody else going to get in it? I'll get in it for fun. You know, yeah. I'll do it. I'm but I don't think he really was like, I'm going to go out here and try to win. I mean, I, he probably would have enjoyed it if he won, but I don't think he was like, his, his, I'm his. going all out. He shouldn't have made it past the first round. And I'm not saying <laughs> everybody else had like great dunks, but like so it's 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 strategy to it. You don't bring out your best dunks to begin with, obviously. You bring what you feel like will get you to the second round, then you gotta save the good ones for the second round because obviously you got like you playing for the, the whatever, the money, the, all the all the marbles. So yeah, that casting casting anyway. Oh. I got another thought too. Okay. I had to cut because I don't want to cut you up. Because okay. I want you to want you but I just, it's just, it's burning in me, James. Judges is where I'm going. Go ahead. Well, they suck, too. Yes. But. Every year. I understand, okay, I'm not a dunker. Mm-hmm. I've never dunked a day in my life. Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of dunks. I know there's only so much you can do mm-hmm. when it comes to dunking. Mm-hmm. I get that. But, like, when I'm watching a dunk competition, specifically this year, mm-hmm. if... If I had to put a number to it, if 50 to 60 percent of the dunks are just people jumping over people, I'm good. <laughs> is that all we do? Is that all we do now? Just jump over? Like, like I know you can jump over a tall person. I've seen people jump over tall people all the time. Yep, that's been done. Somebody jump, didn't somebody jump over Taco one yes. time? Yep. But 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 so that was impressive because he didn't have to push him down or anything. Like but, I, but my point is, we've seen you. We've seen people jump over people. Yes. I mean, <laughs> so like, that's nothing new. Like if you were just doing that and and you're just like doing a regular, you know, just one handed dunk. No, you can you can you can go 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 home with that. Now when when Matt did the thing where he let go of the ball and then grabbed it and like that that was cool. I yeah. give you that. But then everybody else was like, oh, I'm gonna. But before that, he's like, I'm gonna stack two people. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then, then they go all bend down. Yeah, and then I'm I'm gonna jump over Shaq, and then I'm gonna jump over this person. It's just like you just is that you just. So <laughs> it can it can be good. Like I, I don't know. I hear you. I hear you. It can be good. So the one that you know obviously is the most iconic is Aaron Gordon jumping over the mascot, and and you know sure again. Oh, uh, we don't win on the left. The fact that he his whole body like the mascot. He was able to not only jump over him in a sitting position, but enough he can push the ball underneath. Mm-hmm. That is impressive. Like I, 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 like I, any other time somebody just jumping over somebody, yeah, we've been there, done that. Well, it's not even it's not even just the fact that it's, we've been there, done that. Like to your point, he did something special with it. Also, he brought that out later on. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like yep. like Matt. Granted, I didn't watch the because I just watched highlights. Mm-hmm. But from the highlights I watched. Two, uh, two, baby, three. His dunks were just him dunking over people, yeah, or jumping over people. Yeah. Like, all right, you just jumped over two people. Now you gonna <laughs> jump over Shaq? Like, I saw you jump over somebody. That's <laughs> this is so. Aaron Gordon is also the person who used a drone to drop the ball to, you know. So if you if you don't, I, I can understand like 
it's it's hard to to come up with something. If if like Duncan, I don't want to say Duncan isn't your life because obviously like back then, I mean he's an NBA player, but like mm-hmm. people, Jordan Kilgannon, and I keep I keep referencing him because I, I like that that step that stinger scorpion that scorpion dunk is is like that's that's amazing. Yeah. But like if if Duncan isn't your life, then yeah, you can't really mm-hmm. come up with something. And I think Mac McClung, sure he's not like like. I don't want to say elite because he's good, but is he though? I, th- I or did he just beat sorry people? So if you had tiers, because you know I watch a lot of YouTube videos, you got you know D tier, C, B, A, and then S. Jordan Kilgannon S. I would say Mac McClung is probably A in, in the A tier. I put him B. <laughs> no, the original. If I'm being honest with you, I I can't give him A or S for the simple fact of like. He's great, but he's repetitive. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 I don't want to keep harping on it, but like this, this competition alone, two out of three, two maybe three of his dunks was just him dunking over people. Mm-hmm. I understand. I understand. We already know you can do it, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> like, granted, the things he did when he was the air was nice, and the fact that he didn't have to push off and all that kind of stuff. That's all well and good, but like you did that the last time you jumped over somebody, which was the dunk before this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so the one the one that I'm I'm saying not okay, I want we can keep going. Um so Mac McClung, he still he still won. So the person who deserved to win still won. Oh, of um, course. But the judges, like they I, I don't <clears throat> I don't know I feel like they shouldn't I don't want to say talk to each other because that's a part of it, but they they Sometimes they, they, they score low when they don't need to score low, and then they score high when they don't need to score high. And it's, it's stupid. My question is, like, and maybe you can answer this because I think you, cause you watched it, like, as it was happening, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, do they do they watch? Because, you know, obviously, as a viewer, when we're watching, they'll, they'll show, like, the slow motion replays. Mm-hmm. Do they watch the slow motion replays? I would think so. You know, they I'm sure they have, like, screens and, obviously, I'm a Jumbotron. But I'm sure they do. Because the reason why I'm asking is, like, sometimes, sometimes, like, some of the dunks, when you watch it the first time, like, it's just in real time, you it doesn't see. look that impressive. Yes. Like, even, like I said, with Matt, when he did the thing where he let go of the ball, like, in real time, you don't see it, it doesn't yep. look that. But then you slow it down, it's like, oh, that takes skill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like, if they're not watching the replays like that, I can see why they was like, ah, we get at a, we get at a 46 or 47. There was one, um, I was, I was driving home, my mom in the car, and, and we were watching it, and... I can't remember who or what exactly it was, but there was there was like three three things in the dunk. So it's like he shoot. So I know I know he so I had to I was explaining it to her. So he did the back scratch, then you came down, and then you also did a reverse. Um and that may not be the one I'm talking about, but that's just an example. Like mm-hmm. like that's that one isn't it's, I, I wanna say it was one where he spun, he did something but I, anyway, so yeah, when you when you slow it down, you can actually see the complexities of the dunk. Yeah, I think my issue with the dunk competition is a reason why I'm so kind of like laissez faire on it mm-hmm. is because of the fact of like you have all this other content from people who yes. come up with way better dunks yep. just online. And like, I mean, you know, like, I mean, maybe they didn't put, you know, like somebody recorded or somehow you watch it. Maybe it's on like some dunking show, but like you watch that stuff and it's like, man, that's, that's better than anything I saw the dunk competition. Mm-hmm. And I was going to say, you know, they have access to this, so I don't see why they can't like see it and try to do it themselves. But obviously if they do that, then they're going to be like, oh, you're just copying this person. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think maybe possibly some of it is like, hey, you know, I don't want to pull something. I don't want to injure myself because some of them is, is, you know, require yeah quite a bit well and that and that goes back to your point of like um if dunking isn't your life which like as an nba star you're not just sitting around just coming up with dunks like that Mm -hmm. yep you know like you you're training you're playing you're for games you know we're trying to focus on playoffs you're not just sitting around like in the gym like man i wonder if i could jump over the bleachers and then throw it off the (laughs) ceiling and cut you know what i'm saying like you're not just thinking it just crazy you may just like you may just like and during practice, do some crazy dumb shit on some on the whim, but you're not like sitting around thinking of like creative shit, like. Yep. Because I feel like they just uh, I'm, I'm being a dunk competition. It's like two weeks before, like, mm, 
what am I going to do? I guess I just throw it off the Kia top sunroof <laughs> and then just do that. And it's like, you tell they practice it a couple times. It's like, I, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Took the Jalen Brown. <laughs> I still gave, I still tripping on the fact that he tried to do the the no look, yeah. and he didn't throw it up until after he landed. You're making me look bad. I know I I, 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 I co-sign for your name. I say you're a great player. I'm not, you know, I, I, I dare say that you might even be better. I like you. I say that I like you more than Justin Taylor. <laughs> but that's play. That's in the game. That's in game. You, yep. That doesn't go for him dunking though. Yeah, I know. That man said, yeah. He tried to sell it. Uh, we 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 watched it, and we 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 still watched it. What was that? Uh, I think it was Reggie Miller. He was like, he was like, that man, that man sneezed at the end. He's like, ah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with the fact. Like Stephen A. said that LeBron ruined the dunk competition. Yeah, I agree. I don't. I don't, know I don't agree that. with that, but didn't help. I mean, so he's not. When people think of a LeBron dunk, it's the tomahawk, and and it's the side tomahawk. So it's yeah. not like he he's known for like just his in game dunks like Vince Carter. What? Uh, true. I I agree with that because cause I was just watching like it's crazy to say that because I was watching. There's a video on YouTube. It was like the highlights from all the All Star games, which mm-hmm. LeBron was in like every one back from like 2000. Yeah. I was like, God, no. <laughs> but like, all every time you see him dunk, is usually because he's just a power dunk. He's just, mm, yep. mm, that's, it. that's all he do. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw it up, he go. Mm. That's and, it. <laughs> and, and I've always wondered, like, you know, when, when all is said and done, what's going to be his signature? He go the one when he looks down mm-hmm. at the ball, that tomahawk. That's that's the statue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but I think I think what it is is it's not even the fact that like even if you hear LeBron's name associated with a dunk competition, you, you I feel like most people are not going to just assume he's going to win because he's not that yeah. well versed as a dunker. Yeah, but it's just the fact that his name is in it. Yeah, it's going to draw some viewers. Yeah, especially if you know depending like if he's if he gets in it because I imagine somebody else is like oh LeBron's in it. I, I hop in. What's well, great? I mean, Kobe was in it, and I'm not trying to, you know, but just it's it's a different time, so mm-hmm. I can understand. But just about every star, mm-hmm. Kobe, Jordan, Shaq. Um, let me see who else was star. Javale McGee. Was he in a dunk contest? Yeah, he oh, dunked off of two. He did, he dunked remember, two basketballs at yep, the same time. I remember that. I actually, I actually. It, was, it wasn't bad. Yeah. I'm just saying, but he, <laughs> I was like, okay, Javale, well, for a tall guy. You know, he had Dwight blowing out the candle. Dwight, I don't, I don't, Dwight and, and Nate Robinson are two winners who never should have won. And I'm not saying, so, so Nate, 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 you Nate's just a short. You got competed against though, Jazz. I know, I know, but still, <laughs> like, just because you're short don't mean that you, I'm sure it's impressive that you can get that high. But you're doing, you're, you're, it's still, you're an NBA player. And you're dunking like I, I just not. But you can, but you can say that for anybody to dunk. Like they, all, all of them NBA players, they should all be able to dunk anyway. Yes, but he's not doing anything that spectacular. Like if you, you, it's, 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 he's just, it's, it wasn't anything special. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> I don't know. I was going. Uh, okay, all right. I have some. You, you have something to say about Javale McGee? <laughs> no. I didn't have anything to say about the dunk contest. I was going to say something else. Well, I guess the last thing is that game. Yes. So, I put it on. I turned my butt over and I just went to sleep. Because I, I wanted the viewership. <laughs> I wanted them to have the view. But I just I fell asleep. I, I don't know, James. Like, it's just... I heard somebody, I heard somebody call it... I, I want to say it was Stephen A., or it might have been Shannon or somebody else. <clears throat> I heard somebody call it, it was pretty much called it like flag basketball. <laughs> yeah, somebody said it was a layup line, but I do like flag basketball more. 
it's so I don't I don't I'm not gonna say more money <coughs> isn't the answer because obviously if they feel like they get more money then they can so the first time that they did the, the Kobe Bryant tribute thing, they played hard the last so the last mm-hmm. and obviously that's not it it didn't have staying power. Mm-hmm. But I actually I had thought of something that could that that defeats the purpose though. I was gonna say if they, if they're not gonna play, get other people. But that's that's not all stars. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, cause cause it's, it's, but you know what's you know what's crazy about it though. Mm-hmm. That one of the ideas is like oh, offer more money, and they're already making. Two hundred million. That's the, that's the, like <laughs> what is because it's like a hundred thousand. So what is a hundred thousand to somebody that's making millions? I mean, it's, technically, it's free money because like you don't have to do much for it. But at yep. the same time, it's like you you have how much already? Yeah. <laughs> how do you make people play basketball? Yeah. Mm. And I I guess because the, the thing about it is like I can't speak for everybody. I'm not asking them to go out there like. You know, like play lockdown defense because I understand it's a, it's, it's a basically a glorified exhibition mm-hmm. because you know you, they don't want to get hurt because you still got the second half of the season. Yep, I get it. Yep, but they played hard at the end season tournament. They did, and we'll see if that continues. Just like you know how they changed up the format of the All Star Game. Obviously, LeBron played hard because he wants to be the first. We'll see. Excuse me. We'll see about the future. I still, regardless of if they play hard or not, I still think it's a it's a great idea. It's something different. I think Adam Silver is doing his best, and and oh yeah, of course. I think he has. Yeah. Anyway, I get like, but I guess my thing is just like when we had a conversation, an initial conversation about the end season tournament. My only concern is like, as a fan, which I know, I'm just a fan, but mm-hmm. like. If I have a team that never wins a championship, but yeah. they have twelve in-season tournament banners or trophies, like is is that, is you, that what does that really mean? Are you proud? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> like we we didn't get the chip, but we got twelve of these. We, like, won, we won these twelve regular season games. <laughs> like what is? And and sure, I now these regular what? season games mean more, but. They're still regular season games. That's what I'm saying. Like these are games we should be winning anyways. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. That's what, <laughs> like I said. It's not that I don't like the idea of it because I actually like it. Is you know, of course, um, I I feel a certain t- type of way about the whole points differential, but that's just because you know, it can get complicated. But that's yeah. neither here nor there. Yeah, yeah. But it's just kind of like, see, it, it makes sense for the Lakers because they have championships. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah. oh, we won in season tournament. Cool. It's just another banner to add to the 12, 13, 14 banners we already got. <laughs> but you got a team like the Hornets. <laughs> you got to hold on to what they can. Yeah, you know I'm saying? But we get, we get 13 in season tournament banners. <laughs> cool. But we don't have no chip. And in season tournament king. You know, can't, can't nobody beat us. And it's like Carmelo bragging about winning five Olympic gold medals, but he got no championship title. I think you know Olympic gold medals are, is, is is I don't know why I'm not impressed. Why why does basketball gold medals not impress me? Is it because, I don't know. I guess because I don't care about the Olympics. I, I think that's what it is. Like the Olympics is is so much. You have first of all you have the Winter Olympics, which is a whole other thing. Yeah. And you have the regular Olympics, which like there's so many different act, you know I would say activities, sports, whatever you want to call them. And and it's I just I don't know. I know what I know why you don't. You don't care about them. Why? Because the Team USA, when it comes to basketball, at least during that time when Carmelo was playing on the team, mm-hmm. we're just so much better than everybody. It's like, there's yeah. really, it's really like, once you look at the roster, you, you're already like, oh, we're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it, it may not be easy, but we're going to win. Yeah. So when they come in, oh, we got the goal. Eh, we expected that. <laughs> Pretty it's, much. It's Carmelo, LeBron, KD, Harden. Hey, y'all gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> like, if y'all don't win, something was wrong. I'm, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go. Ahead. I'm sorry, I, I thought I. Anyway, did you, did you, because I, I got this, this question. Go ahead. All right. So, you know, LeBron wants to play with his son. 
That's if he gets in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think some team it it kept the pieces could fall together very nicely. Mm-hmm. They could. Um so you know the Warriors, it came out that they tried to go after LeBron before the trade deadline. Yeah, I've heard a few stories about it. Uh, well, I've heard stories from diff- a few different angles. Like, I've heard Draymond talk about it. I've heard LeBron talk about it. I've heard different people talk about it. But, yeah, I've heard about it. So, listen, I think the perfect storm could 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 happen. The Warriors, they have some 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 players that I'm sure they could wouldn't mind partnering with. So they can trade Andrew Wiggins, they can trade Chris Paul. I can't I don't remember his contract. But they can trade that to move up in the in the draft to draft LeBron James, Bronny jo- whatever. Mm-hmm. LeBron doesn't necessarily come with that fifty million. So he said you know, money don't really matter. Mm-hmm. He can sign for something small. I won't say pennies, but you know he can sign for something of that minimum. They're not paying Brody James that much. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not saying that I, I want this to happen, but I mean, theoretically, I feel like this could happen. Can I? Can I be honest with you? Go for it. I feel like, and this may be a hot take. It may not be. I feel like. If that were to happen, if the Warriors drafted Bronny, mm-hmm. and for some some reason LeBron came over on a vet minimum, whatever, and they win a chip, outside of the first chip that Golden State won, I would feel like you know how like the Lakers have an asterisk on their championship mm-hmm. because they won during the bubble. Mm-hmm. I feel like <sighs> it's, it's crazy. I'm saying I'm this, but like I feel like I would. I would put an asterisk on the, not the entire, but on Golden State's legacy. Okay. Because in order for them to win, they had to go out and get people. So if they if they were to do this and they would have went with LeBron, that'd be five, you know, during the Steph era. And sure, you know, two with, with KD. Mm-hmm. You, can, you can say that for and one with LeBron. They still have two. That they, I guess you could say, legitimately got. Yeah, but that, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like that's two. Like if they stop that two, okay, cool. Nobody's gonna question that. But that's why I said, like that's why I said the the legacy because mm-hmm. now you got five. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, three of those five. So so I'm gonna say this. I I I personally and and you can you can call me you know whatever you can call me a bandwagoner. I I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not a Warriors fan. I I I. I the only reason I root for the Warriors is because of Steve Kerr. Just just Bulls fan. Mm-hmm. I like to Steve, see Steve Kerr do his thing. Um, but let's say two things. The Warriors are not the team that they used to be. They are, you not know, far, t- no. 10, 10th, 10th place right now. They're in a play-in if, if things just stay the way it is. Um, the second thing is LeBron is not the guaranteed lock that he used to be. Um, so whatever LeBron team, you know, used to be, oh, he's going to the finals no matter what. And, and he's what, they're number nine now. So <clears throat> if they were to team up, that doesn't, you know, we, we see, and I'm, and the Suns aren't necessarily doing bad, but we see <clears throat> super teams, not really, they're, they're underperforming, underachieving. Mm-hmm. So with the way the Warriors are now, with the way LeBron is, just because they team up doesn't mean that they should win. And I know that's not what you said. You yeah, said no. that they would win. You know, if they did win, then mm-hmm. it, there would be an asterisk. But <clears throat> in my eyes, I think I think it would still be an uphill battle, especially with their age. Oh, yeah, by far. Because it's, 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 it's not a lot with Steph by himself, mm-hmm. which is essentially how it is right now. Because yeah. you got Draymond who doesn't score. And Clay is not the same Clay. I mean, he's better now that he's coming off the bench, yeah. but he's still not the same. Yeah. And you got Kaminga, who's he's progressing. I've, he's I've getting been, better. I've been meaning to talk to you about. Kaminga. He's getting better. <laughs> okay. He's still Kaminga. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you got Wiggins, who is Wiggins. Yeah. I, you know, ever since he took that 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 leave for family business, and uh, did you did you hear what the rumor was? Uh uh-uh. I'm not. I, maybe I shouldn't be spreading spreading gossip, or whatever. But the rumor was that his friend. I don't was messing with his wife. I don't know if he he got mm. her. So yeah, that's that. You know, it was married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, now nah, I I mean I don't, I don't know, man. Because I just feel like 
Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't trade players and gain players. You know, trade or get rid of players to get other players to win a championship. Teams do it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact of like you had Steph, Clay, Draymond, which mm -hmm. is the core Warriors team. Mm -hmm. They won two, mm -hmm. right? Then you went and got KD, who was the next best thing mm -hmm. scoring wise to LeBron. <laughs> you know, and then you add him to this already great team. Yep. To win two more, then oh, let's go get LeBron and his son. It it's, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that the talent is the names. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. not it's not the fact that they're making changes. It's the fact that like it's not like oh well we got rid of Wiggins to go out and get you know like um, a Jalen Brunson type or whatever. It's like we went and got LeBron. Yeah, the face of the league. Yep, coming over here, <laughs> and when we got his son, got just to get him to come. Just to, if, and just so we can win the championship. The 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 people who <laughs> felt you know going to get KD or KD. So I I personally and I I know you probably feel this way, but I personally feel like you know the whole argument that KD had to go join a team that beat him like that he was three. Like that's that's so random. Like I'm sure there's yeah. plenty of players who who either left or, or got traded to a team that beat them. Well, I think I first off I agree with you. I think the reason why people bring it up so. So much is because of the way it happened and the timing. It was like he he walked off the court, or fed up. Next thing you know, hey, I'm with the Warriors. Like it was just it just happened so quick. Like all right, like because I feel like if he if they had a loss, and let's say he started the season with OKC, maybe played a little bit, maybe got a week out before All Star and swapped to the Warriors. It was like all right, cool. But it was like that same summer. Like I'm with the Warriors now. I can understand the seventy three and this yeah, seventy three and nine argument. I can understand that, but I, it, was, it was pretty much like KD put together a pickup team, they went on the court, a loss. It was like, you know what? I wanna play for y'all now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be with y'all. I wanna be I wanna be on your team. This is like who who got next? Me. I'm playing with y'all. Get rid of somebody else. I'm playing, I'm on your team now. <laughs> But if he had to like play a couple other games and then came back, it was like, you know what? I kind of liked it. I'm, it was just the way it happened. Yeah, I can. I can but I agree that. with you. Like, it's players do it all the time. It's, <laughs> you know. But that's just me, you know, Steve Kerr. Just rooting for Steve Kerr. I do like history. You know, seven three and nine. Yeah. Yeah. How do you? How do you? Okay, since you bring it up, how do you feel about the fact that people mention that Steve Kerr? inherited the team, the team that Mark Jackson built? Uh, well, okay. So I think there's somewhat truth to it. Obviously, you know, the, the talent was there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wasn't, I'll admit, I wasn't really paying attention to the Warriors back then when Mark Jackson was there. So I don't know if it was just injuries that was, you know, keeping them back from being, who you know, as great as they were. Um, but for some reason, Mark Jackson couldn't get them there. If it was injuries, then you can disregard everything I'm saying. Um, but Steve Kerr, I mean, it's it's. But it, to answer your question, yes, he did inherit the talent. So I, I can't I can't deny that. Because a lot of people feel like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I I I agree that he has he has coached them well. I don't. I was at a loss for words. But I do also agree the fact that like he didn't come in at ground level zero. Mm -hmm. It was yep. like yep. I walked in, oh I got Clay, Steph, Draymond. Hmm. I think I could do something with this. Yeah, and sure and <laughs> sure people have criticisms about his coaching decisions lately. But um as far as you know, that season where they were like dead last almost and when they got uh yeah. Wiseman, like a coach can only do so much. Like you have Greg Popovich, you have you know Phil Jackson, mm -hmm. who are amazing coaches, but not every like they 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 can't make I don't want to say bums, but you can't make gold out of a turd. Well, not only that, but they can't play the game for you. Like I can I can drop the plays, I can teach you the you know the techniques, or train you you know stamina wise, do all these other great things. But like when it comes down to the game, go do it. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. You know, <laughs> so obviously Kerr did have, a, you know, something to do with it. You know? Yeah, no, I, 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 um, it was something else I was gonna ask you around that, but I can't remember now. Because I, I just remember, because I just remember the Warriors having, ah, what's the guy's name? He was a great player. He was a point guard. 
Oh, I was about to say Mitch. Uh, Tim Hardaway, mm -mm. Junior. Uh, Detlef Shrimp, Chris Mullen. Uh, uh he was like a light skinned dude. He was like a slasher type player. I was gonna say Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis. Because I, I, there's a there's a player now who's named Monte something. I keep I keep thinking of Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis was my guy, man. Yeah, I like Monte <laughs> Ellis. Oh, this is what I, was, I remember what I was gonna say. My only issue, I like you. I'm not a, a Warriors bandwagon, but I do root for them. You know, like internally, mm -hmm. I feel like they would be a lot better if they had a big guy. However, I understand why they don't get one because of the style of play. Yep. Because you need a big guy that's gonna be able to run the floor, and most big big guys are like. Like, they're athletic, but they're not going to, like, DeMarcus Cousins is, is an athletic big, mm -hmm. but he's not going to run the floor all the time. He, yeah. He's not, you're not going to catch him on, on a break, on a fast break all the time with Steph. You know, like, he, you know what I mean? Like, not saying he can't, not saying he will get tired, but just like, you know, he's not a, not a runner like that. I'm trying to think of all the big guys, the big men that are in the league, which ones do they realistically have a chance of getting? And, you know, Steven Adams, who's, who's injured, just got traded. Um, Jakob Pertl, I would say Clint Capella, maybe, like, is the most. And, it, you know, everybody was talking about Miles Turner. That, that could have that could have worked. Yeah. But Clint Capella is maybe the most compatible. I think at one point they might have even talked about uh, Rudy Gobert, but that's too much. That's no. a whole bunch of money. They could have got old buddy from, uh, I don't know if he's still with the Cavaliers, but the, um, Josh Allen with the mm -hmm. fro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have worked. I see that. Yeah, I like the defense. Because he's, you know, he's he's slim. He's He can move. Like I said, good defense. He can score. Mm -hmm. um, I can see that. He's a, you know, because he can, because, you know, the I about to say the Spurs, which they play the same. Mm -hmm. But the Warriors, they like to pass the ball a lot. So yep. he's a good, you know, facilitator as well. Yeah. All right. But that's yeah. all I got. Okay, I was gonna say, you got anything? I, I was uh I'm 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 not looking forward to Madam Webb. But we gonna we gonna we gonna have to talk about it. Let me know how you feel about that. I gotta finish uh last ad Brenner too. Yes. Yep. I'm, that, on, I'm on like episode six. In true crime. I haven't started yet. I'm, I'm getting. I'm eventually. Um, but yeah, you know, any anything in that shows that you're watching, let us know how you feel about the last Airbender. Uh, this is also not only on YouTube. I should be doing. <laughs> anyway, if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, tell us how you feel about the last Airbender or you know um, the All Star Game. Please, I would like. I really want to know. <laughs> yeah, not just the All Star Game, but the All Star Weekend. And do you feel like all of our star weekend needs to be revamped? Like how, or do you think it's just an all star game, the dunk contest? Yeah, yeah. I'm also interested in hearing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can find me on Instagram at h a p p e e period underscore period in my l l s, and I don't think I have anything any else, anything else anymore. We do have a um, TikTok, mm -hmm. big and short of it all. I can, nope. I'm just, I, you usually do TikTok. It's all good. I was going to say, just like and subscribe this video. Yeah, yeah, definitely. As well. We should say that early. You know, sometimes people say yeah. at the beginning. Gotta we should do that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, if you got to this point, <laughs> just like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. It's not hard. Y'all dedicated, y'all dedicated anyway. All you got to do is press a button. It's the click, click thing. Yeah, yeah. It's follow click, us click on, thing. On, on whatever podcast. Hit the, hit the, hit the follow. Yeah, man, because we are we on the Apple Podcasts. Exactly. We on the Spotify. Yeah. We on the Google Podcasts. We appreciate you rocking with us. Yeah. You could. You about to start rocking? I was. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it happen. Do I was like, don't do it. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram at da underscore bear b e a r twenty nine. Um, like I said, you already mentioned the TikTok. Uh, yeah, that's all I got as well, because I don't have... I mean, I have an ex, but I don't do anything with it. <laughs> I mean, I do something with it, but not anything I can mention yeah, on here. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Cause I hear you. I didn't know ex, there was... Ex pops up some stuff. You I didn't me? know there was a whole other oh, side. Oh, there's an ex listen. That ex is capital. You hear me? You're going to have to... Okay, nope, don't do it. Don't no, do it, just. I'm not going to do it to you. Okay. <laughs> to you. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>
hopefully this random thing of Neosporin isn't in the picture. I mean, just, I know it just means you take care of your body. <laughs> I've been trying to buy Neosporin for so many years. I know it seems like I, I just make it sound like it's so difficult to do. The question is, <laughs> so the last time you bought Neosporin, how long did you keep it? I, I've never bought Neosporin. I've always wanted it. I've always needed it. But I just like. So you, so so when you used Neosporin, where did you get it from before? Oh, this is when I was young and my mom bought it. So as an adult, you've never bought Neosporin. I'm, yep, as an adult, I've never bought Neosporin. I've got so many marks that could have, you know, I don't know, just. <laughs> the reason why I was asking because like I feel like Neos, a tube of Neosporin lasts forever. That that is so true. I don't know. <laughs> Do they have an expiration date though? Well, I'm talking more so like because you don't use it as much. Yep. Like you don't need a whole lot either, so it's kind of like you can you can keep squeezing all that you can out of it. C crimp for lot number and expiration date. What is it? oh down here? Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. Yep. Call it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'd probably still use that in twenty twenty eight. I would too. It still works. <laughs>